Blackburn's actually looking quite quick there. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to comment on Jay now, who's currently looking to be put himself top five. Christmas goes third with 113 now, but Jay is on a banger of a lap now. He's coming up, up towards the final two corners now. He is mega quick. He was one and a half tenths up in set to two. Could be looking to put himself around that fifth to sixth mark. Let's see what he does now. He's on the power nice early. Where will Jay put it? And he goes third with a 113.7. And Leroy Brown, now he's going to be hunting him down. Bogdan and Mulderman, the two championship rivals. Bogdan versus Leroy. Altrail versus this. McLaren. He's had the battle with Jack Humphreys, JSC, Tamaskel, Oggiano, Moldvan. But he's fought through it all. He comes round into the final corner. Yannick Schmidt for the third time this season will take a win here at WR. And he wins the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Six, we'll go on board with Team Azel and Keith. He's coming towards the line. Doesn't improve either. Cameron Dowd, he's currently coming through the middle set. Yannick Schmidt goes quickest with a 29.229. Slobin Lukomsky goes even quicker with a 29.158. This is looking to be really interesting now at the end of this session. One man to speak about, Thomas Ronner, going around the outside of Otis Lawrence into the chicane. Very, very nice there. And he's going to go up the inside, makes it through. The Red Bull going to try and fight back around the outside. And they're still going to go. And that's Otis off the trap. Big slide from Ron Hart. And Otis still keeps that fifth place over Thomas. But now you can see Thomas is getting reckless. He wants to get through on the Red Bull. Obviously, um, Thomas, one of the quickest drivers. Actually, he's going to go through. He's got through on Otis. I didn't see that one coming. And now into fifth. Absolutely amazing from Thomas. Now at the DRS to Merkel, but he should be able to gain it back. Absolutely amazing from Bogdan. He's not. He's got a podium this season, but hasn't won. He, he's going to do it. It's going to be close. Round the final corner. The fight between these two can fly. Let's get Bogdan on the line. This is close. And he's gone. Leroy's gone. That's also Tamas losing position to Simon Lekomsky. Bogdan losing position to Andre as they fight down the main straight. But there we are. Jan Halliday also already through on Philip Sayer. So Philip's going to try and fight back. Also, it's going to be Daniel Yeltsin looking for an invite to an overtake there on Philip Sayer. Now down to fifth. But the main battle now is between the top two. Jan has got to get past Corne and Leroy within the next two laps. He's already right on the tail of Corne. Big slide for Jan there as they come through the end part of this first set. And look at him all on the back of that Aston Martin. Sorry, but Yannick Schmidt and Jack Humphreys fighting for position down at turn five. Didn't think we'd be saying that, but Jack Humphreys looking to try and take provisional lead. At the moment, JSC has got the provisional lead of the race so far. They're heading down to turn six and seven. Three oh, wide. Go. Tamas going for the two. Can he get through? He's going to fight it, but Yannick's going to fight back into the chicane yeah he gets through on the two jack humphrey's also fighting with his teammate down at the chicane i think jay's going to hold off his teammate yes he can but they're still going to be fighting jay's got di so is jack and jack gets through on jsc they're dropping down to provisional fourth but yannick schmidt and tamas gal absolutely amazing but tamas is going to go for a fight around the outside of turn nine can he try and make it stick on to yannick it's like what we saw with daniel and yannick down at lap one but this time with tamas and yannick they need to turn 12. Yannick, um, Thomas has got the inside line. He's going to try and pressure it. Bit of contact. Yannick's off the track a little bit there. Having to get away to cause, um, avoid action. That's Jack Humphreys through on um, Yannick now. But Yannick's going to fight back. Pushes Jack into the wall. Jack hits Ooh, the wall. Lose it from wing. Absolute chaos. On lap 18 of the race. Oggiano into the third. And we've got a safety car. Came towards well, that first corner. Tamash Gell. Under a bit of pressure as they come through. The DRS has not opened and Dylan Warren is already on the rear of the Alpine as they head through. Inside line for Dylan Warren. A little bit further back we can see Yassan Puka oh. looking for me. But John Akinji down into that first corner. Three wide behind. Two wide for Dylan Warren and Tamash Gell. And Dylan gets the ahead of that's also. Oh, no, it's Puki nearly round. He's going to drop down to P7 in that battle. So he must have made a bit of contact there with Chan Akinji in the rankings of Dylan down. Warren. And Yardo goes a bit deep there. Lucas just trying to stay behind to get the DRS. They're all playing the DRS chicken game as he comes through. Heading back up the hill at Arush and Radion. The final lap, the final opportunity for Lucas Blakely, probably to get himself ahead of Yano Watmin as we come through with the DRS. It's the inside, the outside line for Lucas. It's Nicholas Longay trying to get through on the two of them as we head down in towards Lane Comet. It's Nicholas Longay, but well, Lucas Blakely just about gets it. He goes the trap nearly and it's Nico around the outside. Yano Watmin off the inside of Lucas. <laughs> this is mental. Oh. And now we've also got. Nico Bayana in the battle. What is this? This is absolute 
mental stuff from these pros on the last lap of the race. Kevin Ballas taking the net lead of the race ahead of Isfan Puki. But now we've got Tamash Gal trying to get himself ahead of Isfan Puki as well. Right on the outside from Tamash Gal at turn three oh. to put himself through. Max Vies will fight with Ishmael Fazi through and towards turn four. They go side by side between the Williams and the TF10. Ishmael Fazi just got himself ahead. But we know Max Vies might be a bit slow as he needs to warm up those tired. Will Lewis also looking for a move up the inside in towards Block Brooklyn's and will have to back out. As you can see, Max Vies went to the inside line, then went back to the outside to try and get a move on the Williams of Ishmael Fassi, but still, there it is, net 1-2 for Race Clutch. He's going to try and gain, but also keen has got that six and battery off of Leroy Brown. They will probably go three wide, and it's to the inside. Joris gets to move on Leroy. Bit of contact between Leroy and Joris as they come through, and they go red. Oh, they no. Joris and Leroy red in the final corner, and they race out of the race. Oh, my goodness, on the final lap. What has just happened? Jack Humphreys into third position, but Keane will come through the final call to take victory here at Silverstone. And I do not have a clue what just happened, but Lefty takes second. And Jack Humphreys from the back row finishes in third.